Confidence intervals are really easy to just use a calculator for. And in fact, the calculator removes all of the work. So I don't need to do my um, procedure to calculate the standard error. Um, that's when we were taking the standard deviation of the population and dividing by the square root of n or using the proportions to calculate that. It makes it so easy. I just can put in the values. So um, to find these, we're going to go to the stat button, which is right here. We want to scroll over to the tests menu. And the first one we're going to use, for example, one, because this is a um, population mean, is the number seven, the Z interval test. Because we want to work with a mean, if you have data selected, we need to actually select stats. So scroll over and hit enter. And the first thing we're going to do is put in the standard deviation. No, you do not need to divide this um, and do the sampling error here. You don't need to divide by the square root of n. Just literally put in the standard deviation that they give us of 2.8. Next, we're putting in the mean of the um, sample that was given, which in this case is 71. We're providing n, which is, in this case, the number sampled of 48, and then the confidence interval we want, which is 88%. We want to put that in as 0.88, and we hit calculate. Now, don't hit this twice because it's going to pop at the top of the screen. See right here this value? That's the confidence interval. Um, so they give us the mean and the um, size again. Now, you can write these values down because we can use these two values to calculate the margin of error instead of going through finding the z-critical score and finding the sampling error and calculating it that way as we were learning in class. So if you write those values down, all we need to do to find the margin, the margin of error is we know that the mean that we're estimating is somewhere in between these two points. In fact, um, will go right in the center, and the margin of error will be the distance between um, one of those points and that center. So all we will do is take the higher value, 71.628, and we'll subtract the lower value of 70.372. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And that's the margin of error on both sides. So we want to divide that by 2 just to get the margin of error, which is 0 0.628. So the margin of error for this confidence interval is plus or minus 0.628. And that's all there is to it.